Trump and Salman Emphasis on the need to cope with the Iranian regime's threat to regional stability Saudi Arabia's King Salman had a telephone conversation on Monday evening with US President Donald Trump, in which they discussed the latest regional situation. Salman expressed his appreciation for a recent statement issued by the White House on its strong stance towards the Iran-backed Houthi militias in Yemen. Trump called on the need to address the Iranian threat. Ahwaz, April 3, 2018 Dozens killed and wounded in fire Dozens of people were killed and wounded during an early morning fire on April 3rd in a cafe at a bazaar in western Ahwaz. A spokesman for the Iranian Emergency Department announced that during the fire, at least 10 people were killed and 14 were injured. Houthi Iranian attack targets Saudi oil tanker. The spokesperson of the Arab coalition fighting to support legitimacy in Yemen said that a Saudi oil tanker was subjected to a Houthi Iranian attack on Tuesday afternoon. Colonel Turki al-Maliki confirmed that at exactly 1.30 p.m. local time, one of the Saudi oil tankers was attacked in international waters west of the Hudajda port, currently controlled by Houthi armed militias supported by Iran. Border markets strike in the cities of Iran's Kurdistan province. On Tuesday, April 3rd, the bazaaris in various cities of Kurdistan, including Kermanshah, Sarez, and Jabanrud, went on strike and closed their shops in an attempt to protest the closure of the borders by the IRGC and the regime's agents. Marco Rubio Leaving Syria without a clear plan will strengthen the Iranian regime. Senator Marco Rubio opposed the withdrawal of US forces from Syria and said in a message that Donald Trump had made great progress in defeating ISIL in Syria and that we should leave Syria as soon as possible. But leaving without a clear plan and a vacuum left behind would undermine US security and boost Putin, the Iranian regime and the Hezbollah. Marriage of young girls promoted by Iranian regime's TV serial. A TV serial broadcasted during the Nowruz holidays has been widely criticized by children's rights activists in Iran for promoting marriage of young girls. The serial called Paytacht or The Capital, which is a comedy making fun of the marriage of two teenage girls, 12 or 13 years old, has created great concern among children's rights advocates According to them, the TV serial has already violated many children's rights in the form of teasing and dialogues between the serial characters, and the producers must account for them.